Hello and welcome back to another Spud Life video. Today I'm going to be talking about these potato plants that have been growing now for about 17 weeks uh, in my soilless potato system. Uh, they've been growing here at the University of Reading in a greenhouse, so hopefully they will have seen slightly more light than the plants that I grew in my kitchen. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, then make sure to check out my older videos on this channel where basically I designed this soilless system to grow potatoes um, and then tried to grow them in my kitchen in front of a small window where they were getting very little light. So these ones have had definitely more light. Unfortunately, they have been growing over the winter, so they've still been getting less light um, than maybe is optimum. But they look like they've had enough light to have produced some tubers. Um, they're a lot bushier than the ones that I grew in my kitchen. Um, they are much sturdier, they have much thicker stems. I have had to stake them, um, but the stems compared to the ones I grew in my kitchen are a lot thicker, a lot sturdier. The leaves are bigger, um, although they have started to roll up slightly. I think that might just be the canopy senescing. There are some brown spots on some of the leaves, which I'll show you when I harvest them. Um, but that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna harvest them. We're gonna see what um, we've got in the grow chamber, see if we've got any tubers. I think we will. Um, I think we should at least have more than we did before in my kitchen, which was a single tuber. Um, so without further ado, let's start harvesting these. I'm going to bring them over here. I'm going to gradually take the substrate, obviously not soil, out of the system um, and see what we have in here. So hopefully we will have a few tubers. There we go, we have one full little punnet oh, of potatoes with one giant one. So if you have seen the last videos, you'll remember that I only got one tuber out of the system, which was probably about as big as this. But here we have significantly improved I yield. So let's weigh these. There we go. So that's zero. Bring these over here. And the big one, 162 grams. Not bad. Probably not going to put that one in because there's not a lot you can do with that. But still, we've got 590.08 grams, so just over half a kilo of potatoes, which is much, much better than last time. So yeah, I'm really chuffed with that. We have just over 500 grams, closer to 600 grams of potatoes from this system, which is a massive improvement on the last system, obviously. Um, so I'm, I'm really happy with that. I think these plants could have grown um, slightly longer because as you can see they are still very green. The leaves are start, starting to wilt and curl slightly um, and we do have some browning on some of the leaves, although I can't find any now, there we go, which might be a, a problem with the system, I don't know. Um, or it might just be that the plants are getting close to the end of their natural lives. I'm very pleased that the system has worked. I think it shows that these kind of systems do have potential, um, especially considering that these plants have had 
um, only a small amount of light, obviously much more than the last experiment, not as much as they would in the field, so it's difficult to compare um, a summer season crop in the field to a winter season crop in a soil system. So what I think I'll do is fill the system up again, plant some desiri, put it under some lights, maybe 24 hours of light. We will see if it works, but thanks for checking in. Hopefully that video is slightly less anticlimactic than the last one. We actually have some tubers. So thanks for sticking with it. And hopefully next time we will have even more tubers to show off. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace.